There it is. It's massive. It's massive. Ladies and gents, welcome. We're in Norfolk today on a pasture field where I've had very nice finds off here, including Anglo-Saxon, but I just thought I'd uh, give you the first signal. This is the very first signal. It's giving me a 41, medium tone. Could it be a hammered? First hole hammered, that'd be nice. Anyway, let's have a look together. Still not deep enough, and this is in that little bit of mud that I haven't taken out yet on this side. I have a deep, deep targets on this field, so uh, we might need to take a bit more soil out which I do. Bear with me, ladies and gents. What I'm saying. Where are you? Yeah. All right, what's that? Looks like a bit of lead, but it does look like a decorated bit of lead. Let's have a look. Don't know what it is yet. It's got like a rim on it, so not getting that pilgrim's badge. I've had about four pilgrim's ambulance off this field, so uh, possibly, but I'll give it a clean up and we'll uh, go from there. Right, ladies and gents, there it is. I mean, I think it might even be a broken pilgrim's ampulla myself. And I'll tell you why. It's because it's got the decoration here, which you always get on the pilgrim's ampulla. And on the back, it's broken, but it looks like it was a vessel. And that would have held the holy water at the bottom there. So that possibly is a broken Pilgrim's Ampulla. What do you think? Date-wise, probably around the 1400s, maybe. That's my best guess, and it does look very much like some kind of hollow lead vessel to me. Let's carry on. Ladies and gents, you know I always get one of these, don't you? Nice crystal clear 40 signal. It's a musket ball. Sort of a smallish one. Not a pistol though. Not a pistol shot. It's a, it's a musket ball, but not the biggest one. Not the smallest one. Nice and clean as well. That guy was a 40 on the Manticore with the new settings. I'm still testing them out, so uh, keep watching. Ladies and gents, just had a uh, nice signal here. It's the same out of the ground as it is in. Probably about 10 inches. So it's about 28 there. Not a perfect circle on the line, but it's on the line. Let's have a look, see what it is. This field is always difficult for signals. I don't know, don't know why. I think I can see it there. little button unfortunately but yeah the, the soil is uh, well it's, it's always very wet on this field but it's a dry day today and uh, I'm still having scratchy signals so I'll persevere just a little horse ring nearly uh, blew my ears off it was a medium deep tone 20 so it's nothing special but it's like a little thin loop so ain't gonna miss much this uh amount of call but like i say the signals can be iffy on it so uh, you got to dig the iffy signals but this one was loud and clear 
Ladies and gents, possibly the best thing I've had today so far. It's a solid 30. It's the same in the old as well. 30. So, let's have a look together. Somewhere. So, there you go. All right, what's that? It's got some pattern on it. Zoom in for you. Not sure what the pattern is at the moment, but looks fairly old, doesn't it? Not a bad little find, that. But I do not know what it is. I mean, it looks like it was perhaps glued there, but it might not be glue, obviously. I'll take a closer look at it and if I can uh, work it out, I'll let you know. But it's got ring and dot, isn't it? Ring and dots. Maybe it is quite old, but hopefully I would have put it up on the screen what I think. Yeah. Very nice. Right, I guess. Nice crisp 30 on the manticore. I've got a clod shot for you. Looks like a horse ring or something, but it could be a brooch, you never know. Let's have a look together. Or it could be a buckle, of course. Just being gentle, just in case it's got a pin in it or anything, but by the looks of it, it hasn't. So, it looks like just a horse ring, unless you can see any evidence of it being a brooch, which I'll look closer in a sec, but nice solid signal, medium-ish tone, 30 on the uh, Manticore VDI. Lovely jubbly. This time, I've got 36. Medium tone, 36. Have a look together. In the side wall. Let's give it a bit of a wide berth. There it is. Right, what's that this time? Quite a nice signal. Just looks like a piece of modern, really. It's not a snake buckle, ladies and gents. <laughs> Just a piece of modern, sort of. Probably serve the same purpose as a snake buckle or similar, but it's a bit of lightweight metal, that. Let's not dwell on that. Let's carry on. Ladies and gents, I think I might be a part of a pocket watch, that. Thought it was going to be junk, which it kind of is, I suppose. But if it is part of a pocket watch, I think there might be a bit more here. There's a few more signals around, so I'll just dig them just in case. But I thought, oh, I'll fit a bit of junk here. But I thought I'd dig this hole, and uh, that's what it was. So let's see what else is here. Ladies and gents, that was deep. It was about 78. It's probably 12, 13, 14 inches. Gave me like a, a deep iron high-pitched tone. Or a milled coin tone. Trying to turn the pinpointer off. And it was this. So, it's 
some kind of plate which would have been screwed in the four corners. Flat on the back, so it would have been screwed onto something. A uh, screw hole in each corner, look. No one nail hole. Not sure what it is, it's like a pyramid type of shape, but solid, solid sort of brass or bronze, whatever it is. There you go. Not really sure what it is, ladies and gents. Do you, do you know? Let me know in the comments. Unusual. I think it's a false alarm, ladies and gents. This is Holiday's Patent. Holiday's Patent, so can't be that old, really, can it? Might even be off for a tractor or something, but Holiday's Patent. I'll look that up and see, see if I can find anything. Ladies and gents, and nothing really notable recently. But I've just had this little bit of lead, which is a pot weld. So they used to mend their bronze pots with a bit of melted lead, shove it in the hole, and then that would dry and seal the hole. So uh, that's what that is, a little pot mend. So that's the best thing I've, <laughs> I've found for at least an hour, but we're still going. It's very hot, humid weather. But we'll keep persevering. I want a hammered coin. I ain't had one for like weeks. But they must be on here, but I just can't find them. Is that a little... Looks like a fingerprint there, look. Right on the edge of that. Might not be, but it looks like a fingerprint to me. Well, actually on there. The whole thing looks like a fingerprint. Zoom in. It does look like a fingerprint, doesn't it? As it was getting dry, they might have just put their thumb on that, but... Definitely looks like it. Let's carry on. Ladies and gents, punching quite deep, 10 to 12 inches down there. There's something just in the hole. Just there, I'm not sure what it is. sure looks it's not hammered but it looks like something so i'm going to clean it up and uh, see if there's anything on it if not then i shan't come back on here but if there is i'll show you ladies and gents lovely 42 signal it's a coin just in the hole it's like a half penny pretty good nick as well don't rubbing it too much, that. It's in really good condition. So, uh, I'm happy with that. Well, so I won't rub it too much because it's in good nick, but I think it's a, just trying to see the king, bear with me. Can't tell at the moment. But yeah, what a beauty. I'll come back to you. Ladies and gents, it's actually a Duke of York. If it focuses. It's a Duke of York token, I think. I can read Duke of York on there. So that's quite a nice little thing. I would have put the date up by now. Nice little Duke of York token, as far as I'm, I'm aware. So that's quite nice. I would imagine it's Georgian, 1700s-ish. Lovely jubbly. Ladies and gents, I might have a bit of treasure here. I might not, but see what you think. Cut was a 12. And it's just in my hand. Looks like a pin head to me. So it's snapped off at the bottom. That looks like a pinhead. So that could be quite old. So 
that will be shown to the flow to uh, to cover myself. But that does look like, like a pinhead, doesn't it? An old pinhead. Obviously, the Saxons and the Romans used to use them. So, uh, could that be old or not? Or is it a bit more modern? Open to suggestions in the comments. Just trying to show you all the angles of that. It's so tiny that uh, you have to excuse my fingers. Oh, dropped it. But yeah, there you go. I'm going to retrieve that and put it in the finds pouch. Right, ladies and gents, two things coming up now. Just in the hole. Trying to work out what it is. It's some kind of. I think that's a strap end. I think that's a Saxon or a medieval strap end. That's what it looks like to me, but further research needed really it's definitely around that era it's old and that came up two meters from the pinhead as well so um yeah on a bit of a spot here nice artifact that let's keep cracking on here then see if there's anything else Second thoughts, ladies and gents. It's a book clasp. I've seen these before. Let's get it in focus. Hold on. Yeah, I've seen one of these before. I can't remember the date on them, but uh, they are medieval. That's still not in focus, is it? Right. See that little hook on the end? Yeah, that's definitely a book clasp, that is. Not a strap end. Very nice to find. That's my second one I've found of that style. So I'll have to look the, the other one up, see what um, see what the dates are. Very nice. Give it a clean as well. Might be some decoration on there.